Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and this is my 10th video tutorial on SSI's interview questions and answers series. So let's continue on this one. So the first question here is what is the most complex SSI's package you have worked on? So this is one of the widely asked questions in the SSI's interviews. So the answer to this question varies from developer to developer because each developer might have created its own kind of complex package. So you need to explain your own complex SSI's package. For example, I created a video, what is the most complex SSIS package you have worked on and where I have created a package and I have explained you each part of the SSIS package and shown you like running the package from start to end. So maybe I can briefly tell you about this SSIS package like what I am doing here. So in the beginning I am just doing some auditing to a SQL server table, then creating some staging tables for the customer, then downloading the zip file from the FTP server then unzipping the zip files and after unzipping the CSV files will be created so there I am importing all the CSV files to the SQL server table then creating some more staging tables and then based on some match criteria, I am comparing one type of data with another type of data and then I am inserting the final match data to another SQL server table after that I am deleting the CSV files on my system all the CSV files those were unzipped from the zip file and then I am moving the zip file to the archive folder after processing and now I am exporting the data from the SQL server table to the CSV file and here I am just logging how many records got exported and then I am zipping the CSV file to a zip file and then I am deleting the CSV file uploading the zip file to the FTP server and then deleting the zip file from the local machine and then ending the auditing so this is the SSIS package that I created so you can explain your own SSIS package whatever package you have created. So our second question is which is faster for incremental load SCT or lookup transformation. I have created videos on slowly changing dimension and as well as on lookup transformation as well and both are used for the incremental load. So if you are going to work with the slowly changing dimension then what it does is for the update it uses the OLEDB command transformation and I have already explained to you that the OLEDB command transformation performs update one row at a time. So for example if there are 10,000 records to update then the OLEDB command will run the update query 10,000 times. Okay. On the other hand if you are going to use the lookup transformation then for the updated records using the lookup transformation we can insert the records to an staging SQL server table and then using an execute SQL task we can write a update query the set best update query and it can update all data once so it won't execute the 10,000 queries and all 10,000 data will be updated by a set based update query so the lookup transformation method will always be faster as compared to the slowly changing dimension method so our third question is how you can send the email from the SSIS package so there are two options to send the email from the SSIS package Either you can send the email using the send mail task or you can send the email using the script task. So if you are going to send the email from the send mail task then you can use the SMTP server of your own company and then you just need to provide the SMTP server in the SMTP connection manager and then you can just configure rest of the things easily like from address to address subject and the message body of the email. On the other hand, script task can also be used to send the emails from your own company's SMTP server and as well as you can send the emails using the Gmail SMTP server as well. And I have created few videos like how to send the email using the Gmail SMTP server. The another benefit using the script task is that using the script task you can send the HTML email as well. For example, if you have your SQL server table and you want to send the data as a table like you have some header then you have some rows and columns so if you want to send the data from a SQL server table or you want to send the results of a SQL server query then you can use the script task to send the HTML emails and I have created videos on how to send the HTML emails and maybe I can share the link of that particular video in the description of this video so you can send the email using send mail task and as well as the script task so our fourth question is how you can move the files from one folder to another folder. So in SSIS there are two components to move the files from one folder to another folder. And the component name is file system task and the second one is the script task. 
So I have created videos on both the topics like how you can move the files using the file system task and how you can move the files using the script task. And I can share the link in the description of the video. So if you want to check the video then you can check them. So our fifth question is which task in SSIS can be used to download the files from the FTP server. So we have the FTP task and we have the script task. So actually both the tasks can be used to download the files from the FTP server. FTP task is especially created to download or upload the files from the FTP server. So it will be very easy to upload and download the files using the FTP task. But you can use some C sharp code as well to download the files from the FTP server. So you would need to write your own custom C sharp code to upload or download the files using the script task. I have created a video where I have shown you how to download the files from the FTP server using the FTP task. So I can share the link of that particular video in the description of the video so that if you want to check in the detail like how to download the file then you can watch that video. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.